Welcome to Microsoft PowerPoint uh, Lab number one. To get started with this lab, you need to open PowerPoint Lab one instructions file. I will do uh, I will do the same thing here and open the instructions file as we usually do. Items covered in this lab: you will create a blank presentation, save a presentation, and apply a design theme. Also, we'll cover how to compare presentations, views, and uh, format text, insert smart art, uh, insert and modify shapes, edit and duplicate uh, slides. To get started with this lab, you need to open a blank presentation. So I will go to the Metro view and then I will type power and I will click on blank presentation and I will position my PowerPoint application in the left side of the screen. Then it says here, save the presentation as powerpoint lab one i will go to a file and then click on uh, uh, save all right uh, since i'm saving it for the first time the by default the save as will open i click on computer make sure that you have a microsoft powerpoint lab folder created so i will go ahead and choose this folder as the location and then i will uh, uh, make the name of this file power uh, point lab one and then I will click on uh, save uh, right and then you should have a blank presentation in the title in the instructions it says type mountain empire community college in the title Okay, and then in the subtitle, you will need to put your first name and last name. Right? Then, uh, it says here, add a new slide which has a title and content. So, I will go to under the home tab. If you click on this down arrow, you should be able to see title and content if you don't click on the down arrow and click on this box direct that will give you a title and content slide which is the default format i will go to the title and then i need to type in the instructions it says my future uh, my future goals all right and then after you uh, type my future goals in the content section of the second slide add three at least three personal goals so i will go ahead and type uh, goal one two and three but in this scenario i will put a generic text but i expect you to put actual goals please remember that so i will put here goal one and then goal uh, two and then goal uh, goal three so now i have three personal goals you don't type what i just typed here you type actual goals what would you like to achieve uh, in the future right and then uh, right okay, in the content area add three personal goals we already did that and then right click on the second slide from the left panel then it choose duplicate slide so i will go to the second slide here right click on it and then i will choose duplicate slide right now i have another a new slide with the same text that that is in the second slide so it says here highlight the text in the content area of the third slide under the home tab click convert to smart art then choose basic uh, so you go to the content area here highlight the text as uh, stated in the instructions you go to the home tab and then you click on convert to smart art and then you choose basic cycle and then make sure that you change the color to colorful accent color right and then it change the smart art styles to 3d polished so you go to the smart art style here it change it to 3d polished yes that's correct and then from the left panel drag the third slide between the first and second slide so now you don't need this uh, hint anymore so you close it and then you go to the third slide drag it click on it and drag it between the first and third 
uh, slide okay and then it says here from the left panel drag the third slide between the first and second slide right. all right so now look at the second slide second slide has smart art in it right third slide i don't have any smart art so what should i do with the third slide it changed the layout of the third slide the slide that doesn't have the smart art i just showed you how do you change the layout you change it to comparison so you right click on the third one and then it choose uh, layout and then from here you should be able to see comparison now i have a comparison it it says here leave the title my future goals you will leave it as is in the head of the first column type goals at mecc i will go to the first column here in the head i will type goals at mecc and in the head of the second column you type goals after mecc all right and then at add at least three goals in each section so you come here and then you have three goals in this section and three goals in the uh, second section as you see here please go ahead and make sure that you complete this part all right uh, it says here make sure that slide three is selected from the left panel then add a new slide so you go to slide three click on it and then add a new slide guess what happened when you add a, a new slide if you have a slide that is selected with a special layout the new slide will have the same layout all right so keep that in mind that's the point of this uh, item now it says here it changed the layout of the new slide which is the fourth slide in this scenario to blank you right click on the fourth slide here and then uh, go to layout and choose blank so now i don't have any comparison layout uh, insert a graduation online picture from the office clip art choose any Im image of your choice but if you look in the solution here i selected the graduation clip art but in your scenario you can add any image so i will go to insert and then uh, i will click on online pictures i will go to the office uh, clip art i will type graduation all right and then press enter and this is the uh, one in the Uh, slide you can uh, here it's too big right that's why it says here change the size to three by three so three here and then it change the size to three here too so three by three and then position it in the middle of your uh, uh, slide apply the wisp design theme so you go to uh, design and then apply the wisp design scene design here and then click on this down arrow okay well now we need to find the wisp where is it i think this is it yes perfect so now save you click on save and then upload powerpoint lab one via blackboard but before you upload if you look at the instructions at the very bottom here and i gave you a sample solution so what you should do you should uh, change the view for this powerpoint presentation to a slide sorter and then look at your solution and look at the sample solution i provided you with if they look the same it's that means that you completed the lab successfully if your solution doesn't look like this solution it means that you did something uh, wrong and you will need to fix it i hope you did learn something new uh, in this lab and i will see you in future labs bye bye everyone